the next Cause it's your boy Who? What? Uh, uh Chris with the next Alright, so I just want to talk about that video that went viral Of the grandma pulling a knife on, on that kid Alright, so if you don't like to hear the truth Or if you got some badass kids that you don't that you don't take care of then you might want to click off because i'm about to go in and a lot of people just don't like the truth i don't know why people like to live a lie but to me i didn't find that video funny nor was it, it wasn't really funny it was just shocking but it wasn't funny first of all everything ain't for social media second of all the kids was bad as hell yeah i do commend the grandma for giving them in check Cause when it's, uh, it's when it's time to play, you play. When it's time to not play, you don't play. Now back then, you know, first of all, these kids nowadays will cuss you under the table. They will cuss you so far under the table they will cuss you over it. And not only do they use um, the regular words like B and M F and all of that, but they also will tell you to lick on this and suck on that, and you like what? Like how old is you? You're 13 years old. What you know about that anyways? I'm telling you, you try to be a child for as long as you can. Because when adult life ain't no joke. But, uh, yeah, first of all, a lot of people was trying to go in saying, oh, yeah, no, the grandma was right. Yeah, she was doing good. No. I do believe in weapons. I mean, I don't believe they solve everything, but they do get the um, boat rocking. She should have just, um, you know, took out that belt and gave him a one-two step, a one-two swack, and then, you know, and, you know, kept it moving. But pulling out a knife, the, the, yeah, that was kind of a bit obsessive, you know, because I've have heard of stories and seen of stories where kids get punished in um, unusual ways, like. When I was in high school, I mean, because as kids, you don't think about it. But as a high school, one of the um, uh, guys was telling me, like, his uncle whoops him completely naked. You know, he tells him to get in the basement and then take all his clothes off. And he leaves his underwear on. And he's like, no, you need to take them underwears off, too. And then he starts whooping them all over. Now, as a kid or as a teenager, we laughed at that. And he told us, like, not to laugh at that. And the way he explained it was very, um, it was like, whoa, it, it takes you back. I mean, it doesn't take you back, but it, it, it's shocking. So the father, if his father was in his life, he needs to check that uncle because that's, that's not right, you know. And, um, you know, little stories like that. And, like, when I was a kid, um, when it was like some of the girls were, like, over-sexualized. And they'd be making like sex sounds and stuff. And this is in elementary. Again, in elementary, you don't think nothing of it. But as, as you get older, it's like, wait a minute, like, who's raising you? Where where are you getting this from? So um, back to the grandma, you know, I feel like yeah, the knife was a little bit excessive. Cause what if the, the, uh, she could accidentally like stabbed him or something? And then what next? What is she gonna? Uh, the next video that goes viral of another grandma doing something like that. What next, she gonna pull out a gun and cock the, uh, pull out a gun and cock it? You know, Child Protective Service will be uh, probably investigating that because it's like, why would you post something like that online? Whoever posted that? You know, everything ain't for social media. And I do feel like, commend her for like getting the child in check, but using a, a knife, that was a little bit too much, you know. Because uh, a lot of these kids uh, grow, this is why a lot of them grow violent. Because one of the, uh, when I was in middle school, one of the school bullies was saying, like, his father, um, his father doesn't whoop him. He actually, like, fist fight him. <laughs> he, like, he punches him, fist fight him, like, you know. And that's probably why a lot of these kids become bullies and stuff, because stuff like that. Like, how are you going to fist fight a child? What are you, 40 years old? He was 40 years old at, at the time, and his kid was, what, 14? Like, that. that's crazy, you know. So... Yeah, I do feel like, because back then, you know, we didn't disrespect our elders, you know. I do feel like it's a child's place to respect elders, but I do feel like sometimes it's verse, vice versa because some of these adults do be disrespecting hell out of kids. And it's like, damn, you know, it's, it's a child, but you ain't got to beat up on them like a punching bag. So, I'm, <laughs> yeah, you know, 
uh, yeah, pulling out a knife, you know, that was, that, I'm not laughing at that, but it wasn't funny, you know. There is other ways, like I said, she could have p- pulled out a belt and um, you checked them. And whoever the child's mother was, she needs um, to check her child too because, you know, it's not really the grandma's place. I mean, your grandma can discipline the child, but, you know, it's not her place to um, be pulling out uh, knives on children. Because I do want to bring up something that y'all remember the video. Sorry, I'm looking at Facebook or whatever. And y'all remember the video of um, the father who whooped his uh, daughters for twerking in church. You know, that was a bit obsessive too, but at least he used a belt. We already know what a belt can do. It just leaves some marks on you. Yeah, it does open your skin, but it leaves some marks on you. And he was, and a lot of people, and the other father that was whooping his daughter for looking like Beyonce, uh, a lot of people was going in on the father saying, oh, that's too much, you shouldn't be doing that, you wrong, yeah, put him in jail. And there was people like me, like, no, he, he was, you know, checking his daughters. Yeah, yeah, it was like, it was a little bit much, like how he was whipping them, but they was pretty much just screaming out of fear. He wasn't really killing them or nothing. And I feel like, a lot of people was going in on them just because they was men. You know, first of all, it's, it's not a lot of black fathers in a lot of these children's life. So I was commending him for, um, let alone for them, you know, trying to take care of their own kids. So I commend him, you know, he was he, taking care of his, his daughters and showing them, you know, you don't want to be a hoe. Because as, you know, guys, you know, we know. Most guys, you know, once they finish doing what they do with a girl, you know, they bounce to the next one and you just used up. And most of these girls get in their feelings about that because, you know, they want to be wifey. But it's like, you know, if you open up your legs, if you're being submissive, if you're letting somebody, you know, run up in you like that, and then you think you, a baby not going to make him stay and sure enough, open your legs is not going to make him love you. And I feel like he was whipping him out of that, you know, teaching him right from wrong. Because you have a lot of people who don't want to see, um, black people, let alone black women succeed, you know, you got stuff like ghetto gaggers and all that other, you know, nasty shit, and it's not to make it a black and white issue, again, but I'm just saying you have stuff like that, so I commend him for whipping his daughters and getting them in check, but a lot of people was trying to go in on them fathers, and then, you know, commend this grandma for pulling out a knife, like, how are you going to be, like, double-sided like that, it, to me, that makes no sense. You know, we all know what a belt can do, and we all know what a knife can do. Because a knife, she could have stabbed and punctured one of his lungs, and he would have been gone for the rest of his life. And that could have happened by accident. And she was saying she was sharpening the knife, so that shit... That knife was probably sharper than the uh, knife that Harpo got uh, cut by Seeley. Remember when she nicked his ass with that razor? That knife was probably sharper, sharper than that, so... That's what I'm saying. That's why it really wasn't... It really wasn't funny to me, so... Again, that's my two cents on it. Comments, questions, concerns, you know where to leave them. Like, share, subscribe. Till then, this is Boy and Boy, Chris with an X. Peace.